A new technology that lets you search for answers by snapping a photo. Yes, let's say you're out picking pumpkins. It is October after all, and you happen to see a puppy playing in the pumpkin patch. Well, you can't help but take a picture like this one, and it's love at first sight. You might want one for yourself. So what do you do? You queue up Superfish, just named the fourth fastest growing company by our friends at Inc. Magazine. And here to explain exactly how that all works is Andreas Stavropoulos. He's a partner at Draper Fisher Jurvetson, one of the original investors in Superfish. So how does it work? You take the picture and then what? Well, that's just it. You take the picture and the results magically appear. <laughs> if you think about how many how many images we all take every day with our with our phones, with every camera around us, it gets posted on Pinterest. The idea is try to have a visual search discovery experience through any image out there. Doesn't Google to some extent already do this? It turns out that they don't. Try to stick a picture into a Google search bar and see what you get. At best, what they will try to do is look at the image itself and tell you which web page it came from. Or they might try to look at text that's around the picture and try to figure out what that text result would be, which of course wouldn't work very well with any picture you take yourself as an example. So we are showing, thanks to our Real Biz viewers, multitudes of adorable pictures of puppies. So many of you sent them in to us. We really appreciate it. So in this, this example, Andreas, you take the picture and you upload it to one of the Superfish apps. Tell me about that. Which, which one does it work with? Sure. This one, the one that did the pets, which was the first one that they put out there as a test, is called Pet Match. Uh, actually, the whole series of apps, it's going to be a, fam a family of apps called Like That Something. So the first one that they have as of last week is Like That Decor, where you can take picture of furniture or any chair or sofa, things that are typically very hard to explain why you like them, and you can discover other pieces of furniture like that. They will probably rename the pet match one Like That Pet, but you can think of applications that will be there Like That Fashion, Like That Anything for that matter. So you could even be, for example, watching television and see somebody on TV is wearing the thing that you like. And eventually, through this app, you can like that and then find a place to buy it. Exactly. Or on the web, if you happen to be surfing on, a, on an image on some website, you should be able to crop the image and find exactly what it is that you're looking for or things that look like it from anywhere on the web. And this also, I, I understand, works with food. It works, I mean, the technology itself works with pretty much every image out there. The hard part is less about that, it's more about educating users that every image that we have now, either that we find on the web or on Pinterest or even take on our own phone, that every image could be the beginning of this great discovery experience. Uh, it, it's something we need to educate the people because the idea of visual search is not yet there. So Superfish is trying to do it by creating a series of applications that are very focused, like the pet one that you were talking about before. You are constantly inundated with investment opportunities. What's the number one thing that you look for before putting your money to work? You know, at DFJ, we have a motto. It's all about thinking big. If you think about companies where we've been the most successful, they've been the ones that have really changed the world in a fundamental way. So it's a good example here. When we think, when we thought of Superfish as an investment, it was not just to find a pet or a dress or a pair of shoes. It was about fundamentally changing the way we think about the infrastructure of the web to allow us all to use any image to do visual search. There has been some conversation recently about there potentially being a bubble in venture capital that venture capital dollars are going so many places. Uh, you're seeing some companies are failing, some are succeeding. What do you make of that? Do you think that we're on the road to the bubble bursting in VC? Uh, look, I've been around in this business since the late 90s, so talking about cycles coming in and out or tides coming in and out, I've seen a couple. So uh, the reality is if people are not uh, uh, in the doldrums complaining about how bad things are, then they're complaining about how good things they are. For us at DFJ, we're long-term players. As long as we're thinking big and we're investing in the right entrepreneurs, we're very happy to wait until the rest of the world realizes the impact that they're having. But it's all about thinking big and supporting the right people over long periods of time. And then we don't tend to worry much about where the market is on any particular day, week or year. And if you are an entrepreneur who's watching Real Biz right now, what are some of the big areas that you would like to look at, the areas that entrepreneurs out there should be thinking about to interest DFJ? 
Uh, we have a varied interest. My partner, Steve Jurvetson, is obviously involved with things like SpaceX and New Space. So I would say for DFJ, the only overarching thought is if you're thinking big and you're changing the world in some fundamental way, come talk to us. And if it's, if it's technology related, of course, it can be anywhere from synthetic biology to deep learning, machine learning to space. For me personally, I'm a software guy, so I like platforms. Uh, today, the big trends in that have all to do with mobile devices, Internet of Things, and basically the ability to make the user's uh, world a better world by knowing more about them and bringing it to bear in a way that's non-threatening and hopefully doesn't violate their privacy. Andreas, thanks so much. Some great feedback and material. And for anyone who's out there trying to find the next great restaurant or couch or puppy, look for Superfish. Thanks.